Blood Firefight looks to be coming into the MCC relatively soon. A leak comes out saying that eight player forge might be a possibility as well as Halo being banned in Russia. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving our Halo news and informational video. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this as it greatly helped out the video and channel within that all famous YouTube algorithm. So let's get right into the content here. We have some really interesting information about the MCC and how it's going to be bringing some new stuff to Firefight. As we do remember the uh, Flood Firefight like, mode that we had tested out, didn't quite make it into the final build of Season 8. But stayed right here within the recent canon fire saying that Halo 3 ODST fan favorite firefight is getting an incredible cool upgrade for Halo Master Chief Collection, bringing the flood to the mode for the first time alongside other AI allies, which is quite interesting as part of the next MCC update. Now, they don't state when this update is going to come around. I'm sure it's kind of that same mantra with MCC is it's ready when it's ready. But very awesome to not only know that we're going to get flood firefight still happening, still being worked on just had a little slower pace because you know halo infinite's out and everything but getting ai allies that's quite interesting not sure if this will be like some kind of like setting you can put up in a custom game or something like that or maybe you can even call them in like if you get through enough ranks in the uh the firefight mode that you can like call in like marines or maybe even elites at that point you never know either way it's a developing story as soon as we get some more concrete information guys you better believe i'll share it with you guys here on the channel a very interesting forge leak recently just went out halo.api twitter which is a friend of the show as well as very credible source when it comes to leaked information tweeted this out showing max player count eight player client side two meaning split screen it could be a viable option when it comes to doing forge as well as eight player forge being a possibility which is something we've never had before within the mode which is pretty cool to think about and it looks like we might be getting some Forge flighting, which would be really freaking awesome. A member of the Forge Council, and I'm a friend of the show as well, Arthur Bloodshot, talks about how Forge is actually in a very good state right now. And at some point this year, we'll have some public testing sometime this year, which I'm like, okay, once that happens, we'll definitely know. It's Forge is still slated to come around with Season 3, so my assumption would be that uh, we'll probably see like flighting happen probably around like, July or around that time frame because season three is more likely going to come out around August, September time frame, somewhere in between there, which would be the time you do flighting probably like the month before the release of the feature itself, meaning July you could see some flighting, which would be really freaking awesome. Of course, Forge also could very much be delayed as Forge is looking way more than just like your typical Forge. This looks like a full on like developer tool given out to the public, which is very interesting. But as the other stories, this is a developing one. So as soon as we get some more information from 343, I'll make sure to share it with you guys here on the channel. And you heard me right from the beginning of this video, guys. Halo is currently banned in Russia because, well, the current situation is going on in the world at the moment. And so we've seen it right now, like, Microsoft has taken steps to also fight against like what's going over in the UK Ukraine and Russia to block the ability to play Halo within Russia, which is a shame when it comes to you Russian players out there who want to just enjoy some Halo and find some solace in dark, some dark times right now, but currently not so much. Even a player from Russia right here just shared this on Red going like, well, F me, I guess, because, well, because of my government doing some really crappy things, I can now no longer enjoy playing Halo, which it's a shame. It's tough to punish the people who are obviously not involved with the situation whatsoever. I think it's more just kind of like, again, like doing business with Russia right now does not look good, like no matter what it is. And so I understand like why companies would try to block their services in the country. It's a shame that the people who live in the area who have no control over the situation have to, you know, deal with this kind of stuff. But I think it's also kind of plays a part of, well, you know, if you press the people of the country to you know, inconvenience their lives in some capacity, you'd probably see that kind of trickle its way up to where having in government levels were like, well, maybe you shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. No word on when this ban is going to be relieved at any time soon, but as soon as we get some more information, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Now, remember when Dr. Disrespect was actually banned from Twitch for no reason, at least known to the public? Well, it looks like from this tweet, Dr. Disrespect and Twitch have resolved their issues, saying, I have resolved my legal dispute with Twitch. No party admits any wrongdoing. My assumption is that probably Doc did something wrong, Twitch did something wrong. Overall, they're just kind of call it even and just kind of put the whole thing down, put the whole thing to rest. 
Dr. Disrespect does reply in here saying that in response to your questions, the doc will not return to Twitch. So he's staying on YouTube throughout this entire thing, which I can imagine, you know, Twitch kind of did him dirty, but I'm sure I don't know what doc did. Uh, if it's anything worth banning for, we'll see. Like Twitch tends to be kind of loose with their TOS and how to enforce it. But this has been going on for like two plus years. And so it's finally good to see like this has come to rest. Now, do you guys remember this armor set from the beginning of Halo Infinite? It was part of the shop. Well, we haven't seen it since. And a lot of people are going like, hey, I really like this armor set. When is it going to be coming back to Halo Infinite? Well, 343 dev just confirmed that we'll be back in Halo Infinite. This topic was recently brought up as we've seen Anubis come back into Halo Infinite at a sale price as well. And I think, believe that's like the third time we've seen it back in the shop. We've only seen Zvezda once. And that was like at the very beginning of Halo Infinite. And 343 dev says we're here, I can confirm Zvezda will return to the shop again during season one. Most likely at a sale price as well, it will return right, probably around 1,000 to 1,200 credits, depending on what's going to be part of the package. So you guys are looking out for Zvezda, there you go. So thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel and missed any content from recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm going to link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos. Thanks so much for watching, greatly appreciate it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out.